If you're running Mac OS X Catalina and you recently upgraded to the latest version 10.15.4 and you have an external display hooked up to it, in this case either a BenQ SUV display or a BenQ PD display, you may notice that your display becomes much brighter and also the colors are a little bit washed out. In this video I'm going to tell you what's going on and how you can solve that problem. I'm Mark Suwansang, BenQ Ambassador. Let's get started. Before we start, I'd like to share with you one big news that I have here is that we have just reached 1,000 subscribers. So thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel, watched my videos, posted comments and questions to all these videos. I mean, they're really helpful. We're building a community here for color management, and I'm glad I can be a resource to you to answer all of your BenQ display and color management questions. So please continue with those questions because honestly, those questions are really valuable to me. Not only am I helping you when I get back to you, but many times those questions are ideas for my future videos to help other people with color management too. So again, thank you so much. We're gonna go for 10K next, so make sure that you stay with us on this journey and let's build this great color management community. All right, one more thing here too is that if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload new videos like this. So 10.15.4 costs a little bit of a havoc if you have a BenQ SW display or a BenQ PD line display hook up to your computer or your Mac in this case. The reason why is because for some reason, many of these displays in the PD and the SW line are capable of showing HDR, so Mac OS X automatically goes in and enable HDR by default. So how do we fix this? Simply enough, come into System Preferences, click on Display, make sure that you have the BenQ display selected in this case. On the Display tab, there's a checkbox there called High Dynamic Range. Simply uncheck it, and voila. Your screen is now back in your calibration mode. But knowing how to do that is great. I would tell you to number one, make sure that you double check it, especially if you've just upgraded to 10.15.4. But the other thing too that I want to tell you is that enabling and disabling this option, you're going to notice right away that my display flickers. What's going on there? So with many of the BenQ PD and SW display, the one great thing about it, it doesn't really matter what cable you hook up to the display. Right now I'm using USB type C, but I've also tested this with DisplayPort and it works the same way. And is that if you enable HDR or high dynamic range output from the operating system, it's going to talk directly with the firmware or the hardware in this case on the BenQ display and change the color mode into the HDR color mode. And the moment you uncheck it or disengage HDR, it goes back into the calibration mode that you're in. This is really awesome. So I've tested this throughout all the SW displays are capable of doing HDR and also the PD line. And one of the models I found out that's a little bit different here and is a little bit of anomaly is that if you have the SW320, that is the previous generation 4K 32 inch display, many times when you come into here, HDR will be enabled by default. The color will look washed out but the screen doesn't go into HDR color mode. For the SW320, you would have to go in and manually change it into or out of HDR mode in that case. But for many of us who are doing color correction primarily in Photoshop and Lightroom, what I would do is just make sure you come in and disable HDR output by default. This way you don't have to worry about the colors looking strange or the display behaving strangely than you're used to before. So the main question now is why is this HDR content there? Well, Max is upgrade or operating system. So and these screens are capable of showing HDR content, but primarily right now, this HDR content is really designed for content consumption. That means that if you're watching YouTube, if you're watching Netflix or Apple TV or whatever other streaming platform that is streaming in HDR, you can go in and enable HDR and you can get the full HDR experience. But for most of us here, we're really doing color critical work for photography. So if you're doing photos, go ahead and disable that. If you're doing videos, I would still recommend that you go in and disable that unless the program that you are using to edit your videos can handle the high dynamic range content and can talk directly with the display for that matter. I really feel that this is a great option. It's a great step going forward. But right now, I really feel that this is mostly for content consumption. So I hope that you find this video helpful on how to disable the HDR high dynamic range output from your video card on a Macintosh system when you're using it with a wide 
color gamut display or a professional display that can show HDR content. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and until next time, artist rights.